In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a paginated report in Power BI service from a data set that you may have published already. So I have a workspace where I have a data set called Management Insights SB, which um, is just a plain um, Power BI report. So if you look, so we've got our data set here and we've got a report. We are going to move over to these three dots here and click on here and create paginated report. And this will build us a paginated report based on the tables and data that we have in our, in our Power BI data set. It, it's a start, but it can be quite limited. So I'm going to show you how to create it and then how to deal with some of the limitations. So the first thing that you can see here is we've got filters where we can apply filters. Um, and this is where we will build our report. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the year from our, um, from our data set, and then we are going to add in a product. So these are all tables that are linked in our data set. And then I might want to know the customer name and then I need to have a measure. And for this, I'm going to use total sales, which is here. So you can see as, as the data is being put in, we get our table based on um, the information we've popped in. And there is, is some functionality where you can actually move some of the rows and um, you can you can get it to look slightly different. So here, if we click on the format but button, which is the same in Power BI dataset, there are different styles that we can apply to um, to our data. But we can't actually change anything. All, all we can do is just apply these these particular um, styles. If we look at editing, we can see here, we can move from page to page. It's a little bit slow, but it shows you the different pages. You can either edit it or you can have a look at it and view it when, when you would actually save it. Our table format, it gives you the option to include the totals. And if you're not going to do anything to the report at all, then you can leave the totals in there, but I'm gonna show you how um, how we can change our report. You can view in print layout or in web layout, just to get an idea of what it looks like. And if we go to the home page, you can see that there is the option to move through the different um, pages of the table. So we've got 14 and 14, or you can export to Excel or to a PDF uh, CSV and all, all the different options are there for you to export. So this is a really good start, um, but it, it is quite limited in that you can't actually apply, you can't have a parameter here so that you can't filter and you can't sort and you can't, you can't change any formatting. But what you can do is you can save it and then you can download the report. So I'm just going to call it save and I'm going to call it um, customer sales report. And then I'm going to download the report and you see your report will end up here and it's your, um, your, your report builder report. If you click on it now, what it will do is it will open up um, Microsoft report builder for you. If you haven't got Report Builder, you will need to download it and the download page is here. They've just, I've just downloaded a new one, so there are changes being made to Report Builder. So this is us, we're in Report Builder. And you can see within Report Builder, we have our data source, which is linked to our Management in Insights data set. So in Report Builder, a data set is a data source, but a data set is a query. And this is our query here, where we've got our dates, our products, our customer, our key measures, and our total row. So if I run this report now, 
you'll see it will it will run and it will show us what the report will look like. And it should look pretty much the same as we had in um, in the service. So if we click back on design. In design view, we're able to apply parameters and filters that we can't apply in the service. What I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to um, apply a parameter of year to this report so I can only show specific years as, as a starting point. So if we click here, I'm clicking on the tablix. This is the tablix, which is the actual table, the data range that is holding the reports that we have. And we're going to want to filter this. Rather than filtering the whole data set, we're going to filter this table. To be able to create a filter, what we need to do is we need to create um, a, a, like a bespoke query, which will just show us the dates. To do this, if we click on data set, we're going to add a data set. Our data source is Management Insights. And if we go to Query Designer, it will show us all of the fields and the tables that we had before in our, um, our Power BI data set. So I've just pulled year in, and if I click execute the query, you'll see it gives me the distinct values within the year table. And you can see it's an evaluate summarize columns. So if I press OK, and that gives me data set two, which is the year. In parameters, if I right click and add a parameter, the parameter, I want to call it year, the prompt is year, and the available values that I want, I want to get them from the query because we've just created our query, and actually I should have called it year, and our value field is year, and our label field is year. So we press, um, we press that, and you can see it's called at year. And that puts a parameter here. What we want to do is we want this parameter to now filter this data region. So with my tablet selected, I've clicked on year. You want to go to this top left and then click on tablet properties. And I want to have a filter here where I'm going to add in my year parameter. So my filter is on date year, it's text and it's going to be equals. And the value that I want it to equal is this parameter. And we've only got one. So I'm basically saying, look at the parameter for year and then make this tablix equal to whatever is in that parameter. So we can press OK. We can also put some sorting in so we can change our sorting options. And perhaps we might want to sort by customer name so we can have it A to Z. And we press OK. Now, this is going to fail, and I'll, I'll show you why it's going to fail in a moment. So if we press Run, it's going to fail to preview. And the reason it's going to fail is because what we're trying to do is to apply a filter to our table of data. But this aggregate function, which is our total, can't be filtered because that's already been defined. So if we go back to our design view, what we do is we get rid of it. And then what we can do, click out and then click in, is we can create our own expression. So if we go into here, our common functions is an aggregate. We press sum. And the field that we want to sum is our total sales. So, we, so what we've got is a dynamic um, calculation, which will change based upon um, whatever it is we choose. Uh, so if we press run, we can see now if we press 2015, we can click on view report and it will show us everything for 2015 in the products by that particular customer name. Let's just sort out this total sales. So we've got a little bit of formatting. So when we click on our total sales, what we want to do is we want to make it a number. Let's make it currency. Uh, 
text box properties, number, let's make it a currency. Press OK. And of course we can we can apply some filtering if we want, uh, make it make the um, rows look better, um, add some formatting to the rows over here by we can have a background color. If we want to have a background color, we could make it purple. And then our font could be white and run. Select our value, let's do 2016 this time and click view report. And we've got a nice, a nice little report where we can actually filter by the different years. And we can do the same by product name and by customer. You'll want to check the print layout so you can have a look to see what it looks like. And of course you would measure so that you would have your report um, clearly in the middle and you could change your column sizes. So how you can take your Power BI report from your Power BI service report, um, We've taken our table and what we've done is we have created another table. We've enabled filtering to happen and we've um, added some basic formatting. So now if I publish, this will publish it right back to Power BI service. So we'll go to our paginated report and notice it's, it's not premium. with filters and publish and let's open it. Yeah, put in 2016, view the report and you can see we've got the year, we've got the product, we've got the customer name and we've got the total sales. So I hope you found that useful. It's, um, I'm excited to see how paginated reports are going to evolve within Power BI service. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Bye. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators. Uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.